the most important, like if you asked me to, for one metric that really mattered, it's mm. engagement. 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 Okay. And so that's what you're really looking for. What uh, is it and why is it important? Yeah. Engagement is understanding how your users use your product and why they use it in a particular way. Okay. And Give so, me an example with a, a popular product. Like yeah. if you're talking about Instagram or something. Yeah. So or Snapchat. Enga- Instagram are like the key metrics for Instagram and Snapchat, uh, I would presume are daily active users. Okay. Num- the number of people who use it on a daily basis. Makes total sense. The session time. Okay, which That's is how long they use it. How long they use it. Got it. And even the number of sessions per day. Ah, interesting. And so what that tells me is if I have, if somebody's coming back five times a day for 10 minutes at a time, they're basically Oof. spending an hour with me. That's a pretty amazing thing. They're addicted. They're addicted, right? And so, and then as an investor, I can look at that and say, I can extrapolate from here to there. Mm. If a small number of people are this addicted, then that must mean that, you know, a large number of people could be. Right. And you could actually look at that group, which I think in our industry we call cohorts. Yes. You could look at that cohort of people who come back five times and start to study, what are they doing? Right? Because then you could yeah. say, hey, is there something unique about this group of people that we could then message to the other 90% who don't open it five times? Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then other things you want to track are like product usage flow. So I release a new sign-up flow. What is the impact to all those metrics? Mm. Right? Or when, do, when people leave my application, when do they leave? Or ah. which, which screen are they leaving on? Got it. That kind of stuff. And so instrumenting the, the product, I think, is step one. Right. Because then you can have a whole bunch of conversations around, hey, what do we prioritize in our product, which is the goal from seed to series A, figure out what, what product you want to build. With uh, this fit. Explain that, because that's interesting. From the seed to the series A, yeah. you're saying is what to prioritize in our product. Yes. So uh, it, Unpack yeah. that a bit, because I think that's yeah. actually kind of insightful. Well, so whenever you raise a, a round... Your goal, you're basically proving a hypothesis, right? Okay. And so at the seed, you're taking it, you raise money in order to take an idea and make it. Got it. Right? So you raise a million bucks and then you make the 1.0. Yeah. And then you have a small number of users who, uh, you, uh, who like it, presumably, right. right? It's working out. A couple thousand people a day, whatever. Yeah. And then you raise the Series A and you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I get this to go from a thousand to a million? Mm. And so that's when data matters. Because it's not like you can use data to figure out at the beginning. It's not like, uh, you can figure out, like you can analyze a bunch of stuff and say, okay, the next Instagram or the next Snapchat is going to have these characteristics because I use data about Instagram and Snapchat and usage. I can't, I, can't, I can't use the data that way in order to get to the next product, right? I need ingenuity, creativity. Uh, but once you have a product in market, in people's hands, then you can use data to fine tune and optimize, right? And so that's when you go from seed to series A, a lot of those dollars are spent on instrumenting the product, like growth hacking, marketing, product development, engineering. It's, it's really all... To get the product go as fast as possible. And what happens between Series A and B and B and C? How would you describe those uh, and what would be characteristic of what people are trying to prove? Yeah, at the Series B, when you raise the Series B, you want to have a more complete management team Mm. because you're really selling the team. And then the other thing, ideally, that you're telling uh, investors at the Series B is just add water. Just add water. Or just add money. Right. Like that's position. This is concentrated power. We've got 5,000 people using the product yeah. every day for an hour each. They're addicted. They're addicted. And so it's basically, it's a straight line from here to infinity. It's clear. Right. Yeah. So like we're Slack, we're in a hundred organizations. And once we get five people in an organization, we get everybody get and everybody. they'll never get rid of it. Yeah. Once we get three integrations, you know, in Twilio, uh, in a product, they'll never take us out and they're going to be at least a $1,000 a year client. Exactly right. Something like that. That's the goal. And then you have the management team to scale it. You've got a good VP of sales. You have a good VP of marketing Mm -hmm. who can build the organization with the money in order to capitalize on that opportunity. Hey, everybody. I want to take a moment to tell you about retargeting. This is a very, very important thing for startups to understand because customer acquisition is what it's all about and ad role is the best retargeting platform on the planet. Over 25,000 advertisers use it. And I want to tell you today about a new product they have. It's called Send Roll. No, it's not sending to get your rolls and buttered rolls. No, this is about email. And Send Roll uh, lets you get all those people who are window shoppers, people who are checking out your website, and then you can convert them into buyers, which is what you want, getting them to sign up for your product or service by email. So imagine they visit your site, but then they get an email follow-up. Senroll is powerful retargeting tech plus effective emails, and the results have been spectacular. The average Senroll gets a 45 to 60% open rate and a 10 to 20% click-through. 
And I can tell you, running inside.com, that that is probably three times, four times the industry average. And it's so easy to set up a send roll campaign. It just takes minutes. They give you all the templates, and they have a 24-hour, uh, seven-day-a-week customer service line if you need help. And what I always like to do when we have somebody who has a product uh, that's loved on our program, we don't want to read any sponsor messages, any partner messages for things that are not loved the great part is a lot of my founders from my portfolio use AdRoll, so it's very easy for me to talk about their new product, SendRoll. James Heller, the founder of Rapify, which went through my incubator, says AdRoll is an integral part of our customer acquisition strategy. It allows us to continue to garner impressions long after the initial customer interaction. It's also one of the most cost-effective tools to bolster any integrated marketing strategy. AdRoll is the best retargeting platform, period. That's according to James Heller, good friend of mine, and one of my investments at Rapify. So here's your call to action, everybody. Try SendRoll and get a $100 credit. Just go to adroll.com slash twist, adroll.com slash twist, adroll.com slash twist, and get that $100 credit. And please try that SendRoll and give them some feedback uh, and let them know that Ad Jason sent you. Okay, let's get back to this amazing program. Mm-hmm. 